Absolutely not. I think, it, it, again, we're looking forward to talking to the president later today. I think once he understands the benefit of this merger in terms of what it's going to do to reduce cost to the government, what it's going to do to improve the technology of the U.S. government, our defense profile, and what it's going to do for jobs in this country, I think he's going to be supportive, as he has been for both of our companies over his administration. Well, Dr. Kennedy, I, I do uh, question, you have a fabulous set of businesses, missile, fantastic, aerospace, great. Uh, if the president says, you know what, we want you to compete against United Technologies anyway, even though you don't, because I want you to lower prices. What do you say to the idea that he just says, hey, you know what, you guys are both defense. Defense, you got to compete on what this. Even Ash Carter, who I guess he would trash as a Democrat but still was a distinguished American, says we shouldn't have more uh, defense uh, combinations. How do you deal with that kind of 90,000 square, 90,000 foot analysis that the president gives you, you know? Yeah, Jim, Jim, first of all, I got to go back to what you said. We are complementary. We're not competitive. I don't remember the last time we competed against United Technologies. We, we do partner with them. They have some complementary technologies. We bring together with our technology to go to the marketplace. In this case here, we're going to be able to take about $8 billion of research and development spend and our 60,000 engineers to develop the next level technologies to create the next generation franchises so we can go to the international global marketplace and take and win those markets and then bring that stuff back to the U.S. to create more jobs. And that's what we need. We need to create more jobs in this country, more manufacturing-related jobs, so we can take the economy even to the next step with the president's driving to. So I think once the president hears our story and understands the complementary nature and the power of this merger of equals in the international marketplace, he'll understand how we're going to be able to generate more jobs and take this country and make it more secure in the future. Yeah, we, we should be clear. The president, uh, his, his line was, you want to buy a plane, you don't get any bids. You guys don't make planes. We don't That's plan. not what this is about. We are, but, we are platform agnostic. <laughs> we are a systems provider across the entire commercial and aerospace uh, sector, the complete defense sector. So this is not about bidding on planes. And then, in fact, if you think about it, Tom's exactly right. We are complementary. There is no overlap here, and there is still competition. Right? We still will compete with everybody else for all of these systems. The technology that we have by bringing the companies together just makes it so much better from a uh, what we can offer to the customer. So, but